This video looks at the choice of interactive product. It's the third part of the mark scheme. And to get the marks for this, all you need to do is look at four different possible interactive products. And for a pass, you just need to kind of give us the advantages and disadvantages for each type of product. For a merit, you need to give us the reason for choosing the one you've chosen. And for a distinction, you need to really justify why you think that is the best product to go with. If we take a look at the actual project report, you've got a table for the advantages and a table for the disadvantages. All you need to do is list out as many different advantages for a website, do the same thing for a tablet, the game and the presentation. Once you've done that, you then look at the disadvantages. List out as many disadvantages as you can uh, for the website, the tablet, the game and the presentation. I've given some uh, examples here. So if you look at the advantages, a website, well, it allows multiple interactive elements to be added to the product. If you do a tablet, then people could access the product wherever they were, provided they had their mobile device. And there are other advantages to those things, and your job is just to list them out. Taking a look at the disadvantages, I've done one for a presentation. For the presentation, people only see the information once. That means they have to remember what they saw. Um, and that is a disadvantage, or a disadvantage because they might not necessarily remember what they saw. Once you've done the table, you then need to write about which one you've chosen and why. If you can do that really well, then you can get a merit up to a distinction for just doing that part. Really easy marks, definitely worth doing. 